us now with more by phone is our Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Anna Napolitano. Judge, I mean, what first just your reaction at one o'clock today when you saw this cross the wires? Well, my reaction is there must be something substantial there uh, that the FBI did not see before. It is entirely feasible that this has to do with whether or not Huma Abedin told the truth when she testified the FBI, to the FBI, or it could be something that was deleted from Mrs. Clinton's servers and the FBI didn't see it. My other reaction was from and Director Comey's letter and the fact that he also sent it to the chairs of the intelligence committees as well as the congressional judiciary committees is this probably does involve national security and when FBI agents looked at it they did not know for sure if it was classified or not and they need to confer with their colleagues in the intelligence community in order to make that determination. Unbelievable. I mean, if that is the case, if these documents are sitting there on Huma Abedin with Anthony Weiner sitting there next to her on her, her home computer and they're unclassified, this is what Trump has been saying for months. Like, she's married to this, well, you know. Right. Um, so what do you, what, how do you see Comey? You've been critical of him for not bringing charges, but how do you see his decision to come out with this today? I see it as a very painful decision. I see it as one where raw evidence was presented to him just two days ago, and he's damned if he does and damned if he doesn't. If he sits on it until after Election Day and Mrs. Clinton is elected, Republicans will, will rip into him. If he reveals it now and, and runs the risk of it looking like he's doing so to affect the outcome of the election, Democrats will rip into him. Look, for many years he had a reputation, you know this as a lawyer, Megan, in the legal community, as being the most upstanding of persons to hold a job like the head of the FBI. He seriously tarnished that reputation by making a decision not to seek uh, indictment, notwithstanding a mountain of evidence of her guilt. I'll repeat it, a mountain of evidence of her guilt. If he's made this decision today in order to change the way we perceive him, it's wrong immoral, unethical, and probably unlawful. But if he made the decision today because there's real new hard evidence before him that his investigators missed the last time around, then he did the right thing. Mm -hmm. I'll defend Comey because he doesn't have anybody here to defend him. But, you know, I, I have said as a lawyer that there is, there is a basis to justify his decision not to charge her because he needed, he says, to prove intent and no one had ever been charged under similar circumstances. And, you know, he's, he's been a straight shooter his whole life. So the question is, you know, would he flip just because Loretta Lynch? Who knows? I don't know the answer to those questions, but I think there is a legal defense for the decision not to charge. And there's a legal defense for him coming forward even 11 days before the election if he found something that was being held back from the American people. And if these people lied to the FBI, or did not disclose a computer that had responsive documents on it, they're in a whole world of trouble. Finally, Judge, before I let you go, a lot of these people received immunity deals when they were dealing with the FBI. Do we know whether Huma is one of them? And, and could it possibly protect her if she didn't disclose everything she was supposed to dis disclose to them? Great questions. We do not know if Huma is one of them. None of them received immunity. They received promises not to be prosecuted, under very narrow circumstances. It will depend upon the wording of those promises, which come not in the form of an order of immunity, which lasts forever. They come in the form of a letter from a lawyer in the Justice Department. So those letters will now have to be examined. And mm -hmm. if one of them is dressed to uh, Huma Abedin, then Jim Comey has more headaches on his hands. Wow. Judge, thank you. Pleasure.